An American leaking sensitive information to the world threatens to affect the economic stability of this flower grower in the Ecuador highlands. Ecuadorian roses, famous for their big bulbs and long stems, are covered under the Indian Trade Preference and Drug Eradication Act, meaning that they can be imported to the U.S. without paying tariffs. But U.S. senators made threats of trade retaliation if Ecuador would ever harbor the U.S. leaker. The president of Ecuador responded by canceling the trade preference. Even if Snowden never steps foot in Ecuador, in less than 30 days, Rose's importers in the U.S. will have to pay an extra 6.8 percent for the merchandise. The trade preferences that are set to expire at the end of this month will not be renewed, at least not for now. The message we're giving out is that we don't need preferences. We don't need, you know, a zero tariff. We can actually go with, with, with tariff anywhere we want, and that's not, the, that's not really the real case. Every year, Ecuador exports about 800 million U.S. dollars in flowers. Forty percent of that goes to the U.S., mainly roses. Here at Flower Village, that percentage is even higher. Sixty-five percent of these beautiful roses grown at this greenhouse normally go to the United States. But after July 31st, that can significantly change. The flower growers and producers worry about Ecuador's reputation in the U.S. and that U.S. buyers might end up going for the already tariff-free blooms from its nearby competitor, Colombia. Some of our clients are very hesitant to place orders for the fall because the tariffs will be in effect by then, and they're considering buying products elsewhere. The Ecuadorian growers are willing to reduce the price of the roses for some time, but they know it's not sustainable and that the only long-term solution would be to reduce their workforce. Nitsa Soledad Pérez, CCTV, Quito, Ecuador.